It's not a difficult concept. Privatization occurs where non-government bodies become increasingly involved in the financing or provision of healthcare services. The government denies it's been privatizing the NHS, pointing out that healthcare is still free at the point of use. But those denials are misleading. From PPE contracts to political appointees to the privatized track and trace system, the government is embedding private interests at the very heart of our health service and silently chipping away at our most valued and cherished national institution. And remember this, in contrast to NHS providers, a private company's first duty is to make profit for their shareholders. This profit comes out of NHS funding, leading to concerns that in order to extract this profit, private companies would have to reduce the quality of patient care. This type of privatization is not one of wholesale transfer, such as the sell-off of Royal Mail, but a gradual hollowing out. In 2010, the NHS spent £4.1 billion on private sector contracts. By 2019, this had more than doubled to a staggering £9.2 billion. American corporations are already embedded in the NHS. And experts are warning that the government's health and care bill will hand them far greater control. If progressive forces don't come together now to mount fierce resistance to the forthcoming health and care bill, it will likely be lost forever. But it's not too late to save our precious NHS. You can help. Go to yournhsneedyou.com to find out what you can do. The link is with this film. Your NHS, yours and mine, needs you.